Peep this out, guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Sliding on through to Arby's today, guys, to take a look at one of their all new deep fried turkey sandwiches. And being that Thanksgiving is not too far off, I thought I'd hit up the most traditional one. So let's gobble gobble through that drive through and scoop one up. Hi, welcome to Arby's. Please order when you're ready. Yeah, peep this out. Let me go for one of those new deep fried uh, turkey gobbler sandwiches just with no tomato and just the sandwich by itself, please. All right. Just by itself, first. You got it. All right, your total is going to be 7 dollars at the window. Great, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Now, I have never had deep fried turkey, so how fitting is it that the masters of meat craft are bringing this one out nationwide for everyone to check out? I am super excited to see this. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, and you? Good. It's going to be 7 dollars Great. Is your sandwich right? Awesome. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. All right, have a great day. You too. All right, guys, is this one worth gobbling up? Let's peep this out. Looks like Thanksgiving arrives a little early here at Arby's in the form of their all new deep fried turkey gobbler. And right off the bat, this is a pretty sizable sandwich as most of them are over here at Arby's guys, especially when I compare it to the size of my hand. That is a pretty wide piece of honey wheat bread you're looking at right there. So let's get a quick cross section shot since this was already pre-cut when I got it here. Guys, nice and meaty. Take a look at that there. Deep fried turkey in the middle and there's no shortage of it. That is some pretty nice looking meat, guys. Nice and juicy, nice and tender. For those of you guys who don't know, deep fried turkey is really a very juicy version of a standard turkey. Naturally, it's kind of like a flash fry. A little crispy on the outside, but mostly juicy on the inside. And it's looking really juicy right there. From there, the obvious standout is gonna be that cranberry spread. And there looks to be a heaping portion of it on the very top here, along with some pepper bacon and some Swiss cheese, along with the leaf lettuce. On the very bottom of it, we've got some spicy brown mustard as well. And overall, the flavors are a mixture of some nice cranberry aroma in the car, along with a little bit of the bacon that I'm smelling here. And naturally the turkey, guys, that is just a really, really nice amount of white meat turkey there looking really, really great. So let's get a quick look on the other side over here and see if we can get a closer look at that pepper bacon real fast. And it looks like we've got a little bit of that right there, along with some of the melted Swiss that you can see there, and naturally the authentic cranberry spread. That is legit right there. When you've got actual pieces of cranberry in the spread, that is the truth. I gotta tell you guys, really, really nice. And that pepper bacon should add some nice smokiness to this overall package here, guys. But it looks pretty appetizing, I do have to say. This is the all new deep fried turkey gobbler here at Arby's. Let's peep out this flavor. Some pretty awesome looking deep fried turkey goodness with plenty of cranberry spread to boot. Let's dive in. The deep fried turkey gobbler here at Arby's. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, the first thing that grabbed me off of that first bite was the combination of the cranberry spread and the spicy brown honey mustard. It's a very strong and potent combination, and then you get the juiciness of that fried turkey in the background. Haven't really got to the bacon just yet. Let's keep going. Mmm. There it is. Not so much pepper as it is smoked, and of course it goes amazingly well with the turkey itself. And although I'm not tasting the Swiss cheese on this because of all the other flavors that are overpowering it, overall the combination of everything that I'm getting in this is pretty flavorful, and of course, a Thanksgiving themed sandwich here at Arby's ahead of time is actually a pretty fun thing to be honest. First time having deep fried turkey and I have to say I really like it. I mean I'm always on the fence with white meat because it tends to be a little bit drier but when you have it deep fried like this and it seals in the juices it actually works very well overall. Even without all the sauces and everything that are on the sandwich I think it would still be okay but I do like the fact that that spicy honey mustard is there because that's kind of a favorite of mine. Definitely a meaty sandwich guys so I do think you get the bang for the buck with this one by far and the fact that it's juicy deep fried white meat turkey guys that really says a lot on its own and when you mix it with the cranberry spread and the spicy brown honey mustard it's a pretty nice combination overall. Very, very nicely done. Hey, it's cool that it's not Thanksgiving, but guys, we do eat turkey year round. Well, maybe not deep fried turkey, but I think you get the point. That cranberry spread has such a vibrant pop to it. Ma'am, just the right amount of sweetness. It doesn't really overpower it. Let me pull one of these deep fried turkey slices out so you guys can check out the quality, guys. It is really, really very well done. As you can see, authentic white meat in effect right there. Nicely done. You can see the fibers in between as well. Let me flip this around so you guys can see some of the deep fried goodness here, guys. This is actually where some of the flavor is coming from on top of the juiciness of the white meat itself. It's very well done. I do have to say it really does stand out on top of all the other sauces on the inside of the sandwich. Hey, and I'm just digging the fact that you can actually see the fibers on the inside of the meat this is pretty good stuff mm, really really like that a lot Arby's, we have the meats. 
Hey, but of course that's just my opinion. What do you guys personally think though? Do you think the deep fried turkey sandwiches over here at Arby's can hold a candle to the way that you maybe make it at home if you've had deep fried turkey? And if you've had this one already, how was the overall flavor for you? Aside from the fact that we're about a month out from Thanksgiving, I guess it's really never a bad time to have something like this, right? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And as for the overall score, I'm gonna have to give the deep fried turkey gobbler here at Arby's a rock solid. Nine out of 10, it's a pretty strong flavor profile thanks to that cranberry spread and the spicy brown honey mustard, guys. And even though the deep fried turkey is nice and juicy with the crispiness on the outside, it is not drowned out by those flavors and that's actually a good thing. So the combination works along with the smokiness of the bacon. Even though the Swiss cheese is not really there, the overall combination of everything together along with the honey wheat bread, guys, is just a very, very awesome thing. I'd highly recommend you give this a shot, even though it's not quite Thanksgiving yet. It doesn't really matter because it's a tasty turkey sandwich. And those are my thoughts on this one as we close out another episode of Peep This Out, guys. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Well, Thanksgiving can take its sweet time getting here because aside from the gobbler, we've got the club and the Cajun variant to enjoy as well over here at Arby's. And that's always a good thing. Guys, variety is the spice of life, right? All right, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.